I was walking the crosswalk that I walk every day from my blue line stop. Um, and the next thing I remember is opening my eyes on the ground. A life altering moment for a young woman on Chicago's north side. She was hit by falling concrete and severely injured. The near north, the near death experience drastically changed her life's plans. Casey Cronus is live in Wicker Park with Annie Wheeler's story. Casey. Corey and Don, that college student, had plans to start her career as a printmaker this spring, but her life was turned upside down in an instant. She's already had two life saving surgeries and faces years of mental and physical healing. It feels like my whole life just did. A somersault. An ambitious and talented fine art student, Annie Shea Wheeler was just weeks away from her college graduation at Columbia. I don't really know where to go from here. On April 6th, she was walking home from her blue line stop when chunks of concrete fell from a building's facade at the corner of Milwaukee and Ashland, striking her on the head. Some of those chunks were as large as couch cushions. This is about um, 12 days healed. In addition to a skull fracture, Wheeler still has a concussion. Doctors are monitoring leaking spinal fluid and her basic motor skills have been impacted. In the weeks leading up to the incident, the Chicago Department of Buildings had instructed the owner to make emergency structural repairs, which city officials say they did not do. Wheeler's attorney has filed a complaint against the property owner, Virgin Future Properties, LLC, and the scaffolding company, Chicago Scaffolding, Inc. When they knew stuff was falling in, a, in, in a, uh, an area way outside of what they had attempted to guard against. Wheeler says she is now unable to finish school and has to return to her hometown in Michigan. But despite her pain and trauma, she remains optimistic. Um, I'm not a defeated person. So I know I'll find my footing. Wheeler's attorney has not yet put a dollar amount on how much they are seeking in damages. Meantime, we made multiple attempts to reach both the property owner and the scaffolding company today, but have not yet heard back. Live in Wicker Park, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.